Hey bass players, here's your part for Steve again. So before I get started, there's something that you probably noticed at measure 26. Uh, there's like two notes stacked on top of each other. One of them is shaped like a diamond. Looks kind of funny. Here's how you do that. You're gonna, the bottom note is a G, so you're gonna be on your G string. And the top note is a C, which happens right here, okay? Now we're not gonna push it down, we're just gonna touch with our finger. Okay, and bow. Let's see what happens. So you got this whistly sound. Um, that's called a harmonic touch. Alright, here we go. And when it says uh, E bass, anytime that it's talking about that, that means electric bass. So you might see uh, minus electric bass or add electric bass here. So those are just the options you have with this song. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, rest, rest, go. The nine measures of rest, which I'm sure you can do, starting at measure 14. Ready, go. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. Ready, set, play. Play the top note. One thing I did forget to mention is uh, take a look a couple measures after 26, right after that harmonic touch here. Um, you have fourth position. That means that your middle finger goes on your high D sticker. Okay, let me see if I can get this a little better. Good. Uh, so middle finger goes here and stretch three and four out and you'll get E. Uh -huh. should sound about an octave higher from this E. Okay, so that's fourth position. Uh, you have three notes there. D, then C, and then you're out of the woods. All right, that's it for me. Let me know if I can help you. Bye-bye.